ClickView Converter is a tool that helps you convert ClickView documents to ClickSense apps. You can access the Converter tool from the Dev Hub in ClickSense Enterprise and ClickSense Desktop. In this video, we are going to convert this ClickView document into a ClickSense app using the ClickView Converter tool. Open the Dev Hub and select ClickView Converter from the navigation menu. Open a QVW file by dragging it into the converter, or browse to the folder where the ClickView document is stored. When it is finished processing the QVW file, the project is available in the ClickView Documents panel. Open the document and select the objects that you want to make available in your ClickSense app. The objects are displayed under various tabs. In the Visualizations tab, objects that have a direct equivalent in ClickSense are selected by default. Other objects, such as ClickView filter panes, do not have a direct equivalent in ClickSense, but there may be different ways to achieve a similar effect. In the Dimensions and Measures tabs, all converted objects that can be included in the app are selected by default. If you clear the selection of a dimension or a measure, it will still be bundled with the app and is available to use in visualizations. However, it will not be available as a master item in the app. All variables are exported into the ClickSense app. You cannot clear these selections. Variables can be removed later in ClickSense if required. In the Unconverted Objects tab, you will find the objects that will be unavailable in the converted ClickSense app. When you are finished selecting the object that you want to include in your ClickSense app, click Create App. The imported objects are available in your ClickSense app as dimensions, measures, and visualizations. If you find that you want to change some of the objects that were imported from your ClickView document, you can go back to the Converter tool to work with the converted objects. For example, you can go back to the Converter to add, remove, or rename objects. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.